so this is the, let me run the code and show what is happening okay then i'll tell what are the mistakes that we do in the interview okay so if i run the code so we are seeing something called 1e plus 42 if you saw this for the first time in the interview from there itself half of your confidence will go off because you don't know what is e you don't know what is plus you don't know what is 42 Welcome back to Uncommon Geeks. Myself, Asant. I hope you all doing well. As you know, this is a playlist or a video series where we are discussing mainly the Mang questions. So Mang refers for Meta, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. The most recent questions that are asked in this kind of companies are currently discussed in this video series. So this is a super important video which I have come up with. It's a question that is recently asked in the Facebook. Okay, as I mentioned in the thumbnail, I guarantee ninety percent at least of you will fail to answer this question correctly. okay so if you prove me wrong i'll be very happy if most of you are able to answer in the first quiz i'll be very happy but i believe most of you will not be able to answer including me i was also not able to answer this question properly um but in the journey of learning the solving this question i learned lot of things uh few things which i already aware but i got to learn that win very much in depth so it's a super important question not just because it is asking the facebook but it the amount of thing that involves in the journey so you have to learn lot of things to write this problem correctly so this is a this in this video i'll be discussing the question and what are the sub elements required to answer that question okay i will not try to discuss the solution the solution i'll discuss in the next video but do not skip this video unless you watch this video till the end you will not be able to write the solution that, or you will not be able to understand the solution that i write in the next video okay so without wasting further time let's get started okay the question is very simple here goes the question yeah so as you as you saw the question is very simple okay so given a uh, you have to write a function or there is already a function which takes two strings as an input okay which are a potential numbers but in the string format all you have to do is convert the string into number and add it okay looks very easy okay i have already written some code so that uh, we won't waste lot of time okay so this is a function add two numbers that takes number 1 and number 2 which is which takes two numbers as the input two strings as an input actually which are actually numbers if we can convert them then we have to add and return okay so well, this is very easy everyone will be able to write at least with one 1.5 year of experience engineer will also be able to write it correct what is there we just convert the number into a string into a number add it and return correct so i also started the approach in a similar way what i did was i did this maybe most of you would also do the same okay so where i did number number 1 plus number number 2 okay this what i did uh, so if i run the code i'm getting 23 which is absolutely right 22 plus 1 is 23 so as you know most of you would know number basically converts a string into a integer okay or the number format okay there is another function called parseint so there is a slight difference between parseint and number that also i'll go and explain in a while uh, but basically i converted number into a st string into a number and added it and returned the sum okay you can, if you want you can make it a two step process uh, by making number 1 number 2 sum and then return it if you are uh, just starting with but basically you end up doing the same thing okay now i'll just slightly uh, extend the problem okay Uh, and in case this question is asked to you in the interview don't write a solution like this especially if you are appearing for the companies like facebook apple whatever the man companies okay thing is you have to ask as many questions as possible to the interviewer to make sure uh, you are going in the right path they expect that they will not give you all the things you have to understand the reading between the lines and you have to ask so number one question so what is the maximum limit that number one or number two can be so you we, if you don't ask the question interviewer will not tell he thinks you already gauge that in your mind and you are writing the code so to extend the problem what i'm doing is let me just increase the number okay now guess the output what will be the output okay so i i see now there are two broad category of viewers one category of viewers are like in a, in a state where you are thinking this is plus 1 let's say let it was just 99 plus 100 so whatever this number stands for that kind of 100 like next number it it is going okay uh, i mean it will become 1 here 
and remaining these many digits of zero some are thinking in this direction some got now fully confused uh, you thought the, that was the answer like one followed by all the zeros but now so much of a big number what will happen correct so these are the two broad category of the people so i was also one of this i thought the same thing like it will become one followed by all the zeros but then again the doubt is running in my mind what if so much such a big number can it be added in javascript or not correct so this is the, let me run the code and show what is happening okay then i'll tell what are the mistakes that we do in the interview okay so if i run the code so we are seeing something called 1e plus 42 if you saw this for the first time in the interview from there itself half of your confidence will go off because you don't know what is e you don't know what is plus you don't know what is 42 so half of the your confidence is gone as soon as you see this and you will not be able to write the uh, further solution so what are the mistakes that i did in this this at least till this point in the interview number 1 i thought i i came with a prejudice and i started writing the code assuming this number will be able to convert any string into a number correct which was wrong second i did not ask the interviewer what is the length of number or the maximum length of number what is the minimum length of number what if number 1 or number 2 can be empty in that state how to do let's say i am not passing this number in that case what is the default value so these are the question that i did not ask for the interview so which you have to ask and to make sure so you have all the information required before starting the solution okay now let me explain what is happening here so it's a very large number i even i nobody i think most of you are including me also will not be able to tell what is number like 9 lakh 9 9000 something we don't know what is the number it's very big number so now here at least i'll tell you what is e plus 42 stands for e plus 42 stands for 10 power 42 okay so 10 power 42 okay so 1 star 10 power 42 okay so here doesn't make any difference basically 10 power 42 will be 10 power 42 only that is the big big number that we formed from this computation so javascript is not represent that in the number format rather it is representing that in a 10 power format so e refers here that okay first we should know this now there are some more very very interesting thing that you need to know that i'll explain from the official documentation okay very first there is something called max safe integer okay frankly these are the terminologies which i also learned when i were when i started uh, solving this problem okay so i'm i want to explain all of these things to you guys first before i start the actual coding okay so max safe number the number dot max safe number constant represents the maximum safe integer in javascript so what is the maximum number that can be safely represented as number in javascript okay so here if you see 2 power 53 minus 1 is the max safe integer so if you run here so this is the number max safe number so here they have done plus 1 plus 2 etc but even if you don't do uh, the log basically is pointing uh, printing just the max safe number if i run so this is the maximum safe safe number 2 power 53 minus 1 so this is the number that can be represented as number in javascript anything beyond this correct anything beyond this it will be slightly difficult to represent in a number format so what they do is they try to represent in some other format ef etc okay that whatever the acronym you saw so that basically explained in this documentation okay so where how different types of numbers are notated as you can see here with one is with e and there are some octal numbers there are some hexagonal numbers okay how those numbers are actually converted also is explained in this documentation of percent i'll link that also in the description okay also i want to explain you what is the basic difference between percent and number so i have taken this from uh, this this that dot dev so i thought it is useful so share here so number you already saw which was converting the string into a number percent also does a similar thing why i am explaining this is uh, interviewer ask you why you are not using percent and why you are using number so you should know the explanation to explain you should know the difference correct so percent basically number converts the type whereas a percent parses the value of input it tries to parse the input if you see here 32 pixel percent is parsing that into 32 same pass to the number number is converting that into not a number so 32 pixel cannot be converted to number from string to number it is not not possible correct percent will kind of parsing it trying to iterate through it and try to extract the value out of it okay so in our example can we use the percent instead of number yes there was no problem okay but usage you got to know when to use percent and when to use the number okay now let me get back to this again the safe integer okay now here there is a uh, for a larger number consider using a big int there is something called big int which is exceeding the 
max safe integer if it is exceeding the max of integer so there has to be some data type that can hold these big numbers correct so that is actually a big int so big int is a primitive wrapper object used to represent and manipulate primitive big int values whereas too large to be represented by the number so anything that cannot be represented by number can be represented easily with the help of big int okay so that big int can be used in types in term whenever you are trying to do the computations like this whatever you saw very big numbers okay so to come back here rather having a number if you use the big int okay big int here also big int see you got the solution correct so getting the solution here but the problem is interviewer will not be expecting you to use the big int because he knows the big int will give you the solution correct but you should be able to write without using the big int okay so now you got to know what how when to use the big int correct and the, about regarding the solution one last thing i want to explain is unary plus operator okay this is not related directly to uh, any of the concept i explained but this is important for the solution that i write in the next video okay and i believe most of you would not know the output for this okay that is the reason i'm explaining this here so so we have a console.log plus plus a string unary plus and the string and few more unary plus plus true false and hello if you know the answer to this please pause the video mention that in the comment section i believe most of you would not be will not know the answer to this okay in fact i also did not knew i ran it i understood why it is printing so okay so i thought of explaining that as a part of this video now before i run this in case if you are someone who is preparing seriously for the front end developer interview whether it is for mang or for any other companies so javascript is one of the core fundamental skill set for the front end developer interviews so i have pre cricket now prepared two beautiful series one contains 20 plus videos with lot of basic questions normal question that are asked in the front end level inter interview and how to solve it okay and what mistakes you generally do how to tackle it so that series i'll try to add in the somewhere on the screen also in the description section i made another series where i explain lot of custom implementations this has become very trendy question in the interview where they will ask you to implement your own implementation for the built in methods like write a custom implementation for array dot map so how the map behaves you have to write a function that behaves in a similar way so that also try to add in the description also in the screen okay please watch those two video series okay then come to this mang series the reason why i'm saying mang series is kind of an advanced level of interview correct we here we discuss like quite complicated questions so after watching those two series you get a good amount of basic sense so that you can be easily able to track these things yeah understand these things without without before without watching those if you come to this video i believe most of you would not encounter these questions only in the mang interview because they'll ask you basics first if you can answer the basic then only they'll ask you advanced correct so learn the basics then continue with this advanced videos okay now let me run it and explain the output for each so for the plus 1 and the and the no, this one empty string is actually zero okay you know the operator plus 1 and the true is 1 plus 1 sorry not plus 1 just the plus plus and the false is zero plus and the string with the value is a no, not a number plus and an empty string is zero actually plus and the hello is a not a number why these are so feel free to read in in the description i'll try to link this also in the um, uh, video description okay but these are the points which are quite important for solution that we are writing in our next video okay so to so summarize so javascript has a limit Um, what you call as the max if integer, the maximum number that can be safely represented. Number one, number two, anything that goes beyond this, it is good to use big int. Okay, that is the second part. The third part is when to use number and the brackets and when to use the parsint. Third point. Fourth point is unary operator with plus. How it gonna behave? So this is something out of the box, not related to the concept, but required for my solution that I explain in the next video. Okay, so that's all about this video. Please watch my next video. Do not skip it, where I'll actually explain you the solution, how to write the code to this problem and solve it efficiently. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next video. If you are liking the content that I'm making on the YouTube, please do like it and do not forget to subscribe to Uncommon Geeks. Please share these videos with your friends so that they also get benefited. Okay, I have written lot of beautiful medium blogs where I explain these concepts step by step. I link that my media blog in the description. Please read those articles and follow me on Medium. and my solution whatever i'm i'm going to write i'll also add that my github so copy the co pro projects or, or download the project use those uh, code and practice them 
okay and give a start to those projects on github thank you so much for watching the video catch you in the next one